What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a challenge. Um, kind of, I don't know. I got this telescoping spinning reel, uh, Eagle Claw. It's called Eagle Claw Packet. You can find them, Dick Sporting Goods, Walmart, different places like that. Um, if you don't know what telescoping is, it's, it's just collapsible. That's all it is. Um, it comes with line on it. So we're going to take the line off. We're going to put some, uh, put some bait on here and see if we can't catch a fish and see really how well it holds up. Maybe it's a challenge, maybe it's a review, I don't know, but we're gonna test it out. All right guys, just real quick, if you haven't, um, these shirts, guggensquad.com, they're not sponsored or anything, I just thought it was a really good deal. This is like 90 bucks on their website, but they're having a sale on a few different colors. Uh, it's probably the most comfy fishing shirt I've ever put on. I mean, this thing is insane. It was on sale, or it should still be on sale when this video comes out. I think it was uh, like 28 bucks or something instead of their $90 usually. So yeah, go check it out. It's a good deal. You're welcome. Okay, so it comes with line. I don't, I don't really know what pound line this is. I took it out of the package. I don't remember what pound line it is, but if I had to guess, it's probably like eight, something like that. Um, so the hook I'm gonna try to use just because it's here, I got it. Um, but this is a couple of baits that we're gonna try. This is the first one. Now usually, now I, the first time I fished with these was the other day, but um, these little bandito bugs, they're a really good color for out here. Kind of bright and dark on that side. Again, I had one hit. Um, I didn't get the hook set good, so I missed it, but one did hit. So we're gonna start with that today. And usually I put a weight on with this, um, but I don't want to have to cut and retie if I decide to change my bait. Because other options we have um, is a baby bass uh, lunker log five inch. These are really like um, like a Senko kind of. It's the same thing. It's just Dugan's version of it. And then if you guys have watched the channel for a little bit, you now every time we come out here. <laughs> this seems to always do the trick this uh six inch watermelon seed lizard so if this doesn't do it then we'll try this and you know we might use the lunker log as well but usually we fish these weightless so i'm just gonna try no weight today it should be okay but let's get this tied up all right got it tied on and just gonna texas rig it um yeah we're gonna fish it these things are scented so uh, you know, that's good. My hands smell, but that's okay. Um, after messing with this line, it's either six or eight pounds. It's not a ton. <laughs> this thing is so small. This is good. It'd be really good to use this for like camping or like if you go hiking, you can fit it in a backpack. Um, yeah, I'd love to do some smallmouth fishing with this on like a river, or like a big creek. But all right, let's do cast number one, see how it goes. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's a little floppy, but that's to be expected. Um, if you're expecting this to have like the sensitivity and feel of like a, a bait caster or like some other spinning reels, I mean, don't get your hopes up because again, it's a travel size one. It's, it's for on the go, you know, if, if you're you kind of have to sacrifice one for the other, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, I think cast well. It's light. It doesn't feel... I mean, it's definitely flimsy. Or flimsier than, you know, an actual uh, full-size pole. But it casts fine. Nothing's broken on it yet. So we'll see. That's a really good cast. That went way out there. Oh, that was a hit. There we go. Come on, take it again. Take it again. Oh, something just popped it. Oh, 
Hopefully something is messing with it. There we go. Oh, we got fish on. Got him, boys. Woo! Oh, let's go. He's not huge. Ooh, fish number one? Ain't no way. Oh, he was just toying with it. Grab him up right here. There we go, fish number one. Not very big. Quarter, half a pound, maybe. Look at that nice little hook set on there. A little bandito bug action. Look at that. Hit it beautifully. Get a quick picture and we'll put them back in. All right, fishing number one. Now he's gone. All right, wrapping up. And here's something I haven't really thought of the best way to do is how to collapse this while keeping everything tied and hooked. I think the easiest way is gonna be collapsing one. Cause I, I would collapse all of them at once, but I don't want this line to tangle up. I'm thinking, let's see, let's see. You're watching my brain work. We'll just uh, keep the bait on, keep tension. And we'll just collapse it that way. And reel up. That way there's still some weight, so it's not pulling the line back any. Give it a little pop. All right, pretty simple. And then it's back down, compact, bait still on it. Uh, th these won't fall out because you got tension. So that line is keeping them pressed in. Yeah, toss it in the back of the truck. That way, or if you don't have a truck, if you have a car or something, like, I mean, I luckily have a bed to put some, you know, fishing poles in. But if you have like a car or something, or you just don't want to take up room with fishing poles, you maybe you got, you know, more than just you in the vehicle, put this under your seat. Like it's nothing to it. Put it in a backpack. You'll be set. Hi guys, it wasn't a bad day. Uh, I was only out here for a couple hours. I would stay out, but it's cold. We got a fish. Um, the fishing pole did pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. It, I didn't really expect too much from it. Um, some things I thought were gonna happen, I thought, um, you know, when you extend it out, I thought they'd kind of fall back in at some point, like if you cast or something, or if you hook on a fish. You saw we caught the fish, no problems there. Uh, hook set was good, Not, nothing broke on a hook set. The line that came on it, it's either six or eight pound, I don't know, but the line was really good on it. So all around, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend if I was to go camping or go on a hiking trip and I want to bring like a little tackle box of bait and a fishing pole, I would get that one and I'd be completely fine with it. Um, really no complaints. It did a, twice, I think, yeah, two times um, in the line, like halfway through the line, just had a big knot in it. And I think it's all the memory of it being um, wrapped up. I think the memory of it some way or another it just wrapped itself back up but then it turned into a knot um, but yeah that happened twice I don't know what was going on with it that's kind of weird I don't know if that was the line or if that was something with the pole um, but it only happened to me twice and that was it so wasn't too bad um, but yeah all around I liked it it's pretty good so if you guys are you know you probably clicked on this because you're thinking about getting um, a telescoping or a collapsible you know, pull for whatever reason. Um, I like it. This one's good. I recommend this one. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Let's try to get to 500. I know we're at like 270 or something. Uh, 500, I know is a lot more than what I'm at now, but let's try to get to 500 and then, uh, well, I don't know what we'll have after that, but 500 would be cool. <laughs> thank you guys. See you next time.